Chapter 45. Where to go from here. We've covered a lot of ground and hopefully you walk away from this series with a good understanding of Git's basic principles as well as some hands-on examples and commands to guide you through the most common use cases. That being said, there's a lot to Git that we did not cover yet or that we did not cover in detail. Things like rebasing or reflog, cherry picking or the infamous octopus merge. Thankfully, Git has a ton of inline documentation and there's a wealth of information out there on the internet for when you want to learn about the more advanced corners of Git. There's also a bunch of GUI tools that can help you visualize the Git DAG, such as Git X or Git Kraken. My goal throughout this series was not to provide you with the ultimate Git training. Instead, I wanted to show you that when it comes to Git, there's nothing to be afraid of. If you've made it this far, I am cautiously optimistic that it worked, which is great news because I really believe that my life is better because of Git. So hopefully after all of this, your life will be better too.